Hi, hi. Hello, hello, Xiomara. Can you can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes, I hear you. Oh, good evening. Perfect, perfect. Okay, everything is, is working fine there with the computer. Okay, great. Okay, how are you doing, Xiomara? How are you doing? Good? I'm fine, thank you. Hey, I'm sorry for yesterday. I couldn't join uh, to the class. Uh, I had a like a, a mer emergency um, and I couldn't connect. Oh, okay, but what is everything okay? Yes, it was about the work. Ah, okay, about work. Okay, no okay. problem, no problem. Okay, it's it's fine. Okay, great. Uh, let's see who else is there at the other side of the computer. Hector, hello, Hector. Hello, teacher. Hey, what's what's, what's up? What's up there? Hi, teacher. I'm praying. Perfect, perfect. I hear silence today. Yeah, teacher, because my song is quiet. Ah, okay. That's like a surprise for me. <laughs> Almost all the classes at the background, I hear your kid, your baby, okay, which is not a problem. But remember, you need to deactivate the microphone when there is too much noise, but no problem. Okay, good. Nice that you are connected in the penultimate class, guys. The penultimate. Penultimate class of the course. Xiomara Violeta. Hello, Xiomara. Hey, Xiomara Violeta. Yes. Huh? Yes. Uh, but you appear, Xiomara Salazar and Xiomara Violeta. Why is that? I have uh, in the computer and the, in the phone too. Ah, uh, I thought you were only with... and because of the screen. I I don't have camera in, on the computing. Ah, uh, I see why. Ah, okay. <laughs> sorry. If it's a, a problem, I can close the. The zoom in the in the computing. Okay, now I see the reason why. And I was calling in other classes. Xiomara Violeta, can you participate? But I didn't know that you were the same person. <laughs> okay, you deceived me, me engañó. You deceived me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, no problem, it, it's fine. Okay, only only Hector, you and the others, what happened? We yeah. are just two people. Wow. Yes, only three people, but we have to give the class. This is the last, the last, uh, pen, the penultimate class, but this is the last class with topics. Today we finish with all the content. So uh, let me open your presentation okay guys in every presentation you have the links about the dictionaries about the the practices the exercises that we have been doing during the course you can use those links whenever you want to practice etc okay that is something always good for you okay welcome 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 class number 15 of the model and we are going to see the final topic okay the final topic tonight is pretty similar from last night remember that we were using noun phrases Yes, noun phrases as subjects and noun phrases with uh, as objects in the other part. In this one, uh, with other subjects, we have, for example, 
We have these ones. Can you read the first two? The first two? Uh, Hector, the first two. Okay, teacher. One seat that I really miss is my best friend. My best friend's great mood. Great mood. Ah, if you have a friend that is always happy, always smiling, making jokes, for example. So you can join, you can connect this expression with, with this one, for example. Next, you have the option to say. Hector? Uh, sometime that something I, that uh -huh. something that that I really be nervous about is talking in my pool in pool. Ah, uh, when you have a lot of people in front of you, you might be nervous about uh, about is talking in pool. Talking in public, but is you use is in this one because you are saying ah something that I did really be nervous about is talking in public. Okay, the other two, Shomara. One person that I really miss. Uh, miss. Uh -huh. Or Some person that I, I love talking is my favorite can see them in the front. I can, my favorite singer. Singer, yes. All right, one person, see? There are five students join two more. Ah, okay. Yeah, but in this case, you have the option to say one person who in the right. I love talking is What's my favorite singer. Yes, that is option one. Option two, with the same that, con el mismo that. One person. Uh -huh, one person that I love talking is my favorite singer. So you have two options. This one. Chumara, next example. To people, to people who I really give hugs are my friends. Okay, to people, that is plural. If you see, it's plural. You can use who, because who refers to a specific people. Who I really give. Hugs are, are my, parents. my parents, correct. Okay, pretty good. So you can use those options, not only one thing, one thing, one thing. You can use something that, one person who, or two people that, two people who, etc. As other sentences or other subjects that you can use. Okay, no big uh, issue with that. Let's see noun phrases for expectations. We are going to make some sentences in order to see how they work. Okay, noun phrases with the word, the word that we are going to be using is? When. Well, when okay when um Hector can you read uh, this part please the indication okay teacher now let's see how to make noun phrases phrases with when with when we, we can use the expression okay we have two expressions that you can use number one Supposed to the custom to. Okay, those are the two. 
supposed to and the custom to. Don't worry, we are going to see examples. Let's see who else is in class. Ah, David. Hello, Nelly, David, and Damaris. Welcome, welcome. Thank okay. Uh, David, what is the example? We are using these noun phrases, similar topic from last night, but using the word when. Example, when you are going to use noun phrases with the word when, you can use supposed to or the custom to. David, what is the general rule that we have to respect or follow? When clauses plus subject plus verb to be plus supposed to plus verb plus complement. Okay, that is the general rule. When clause. Example number one, Damaris, what is the first sentence? When you speak to someone. Uh -huh. Okay, that is the when clause. Next. Subject is? Subject. Uh, plus verb to be. Uh -huh. And what is the subject in the example? You. You. Verb to, to be is are. You are? To possess to? Uh -huh. Greet that person. Greet is the verb. Check it's the verb. The verb, yes. Greet. And the complement. complement the plus yes. complement. At the end. Okay, now read it. Uh, just the example complete, Damaris. When you speak to someone, you are supposed to greet that person. That person. Guys. What is what is the meaning of the sentence? What does it mean? Cuando tú hablas con alguien, uh -huh. tú estás supuesto para uh, greet. What is the meaning greet? Saludar a esa persona. Bueno, para saludar a esa persona. Greet. No, greet is hey, hello. How are you? How is it going? Hello. What I do at the beginning of the class with you. I greet you. Yolo? Saludar. Yes, I greet you. Or don't I do it? No lo hago? I do it, yes. Okay. Ah, when you speak to someone, cuando habla con alguien, you are supposed to. The expression means in the context, se supone que usted, ajá, uh -huh, se supone que usted, Saluda a esa persona. Ajá, ok. Se supone, right? That is something that you should always do. In other words, it is supposed to, se supone, right? If you don't do it, that's up to you. It's up to you, right? But it is supposed to greet that person. Okay, good. Let's see, can you read and the next example, uh, Nelly? Next example. When you visit someone, it's the custom to take a gift with you. Okay, guys, the meaning? What's the meaning of this sentence? What does it mean? What does it mean? Toma, eh, llevar un regalo conmigo mismo para la otra persona. To give, right? That, that's right. It's the custom to. Es la... La costumbre. Tradición o costumbre. Ajá, es... Yeah, but we say custom. Es la costumbre. It's like an activity or an action, better action. An action that you should do. When you visit someone, take a gift with you. That's it. All right. Best, best thing to understand this, besides example, is to make sentences. Um, what, Chomara, what is the indication in this part? Now, make a noun phrases with when taking as a reference the next pictures. 
taking as reference and as pictures. Okay, check. When you speak to someone, when you visit someone, you can start like that, no problem. Picture one, there it is. Check. They are eating. Ah, you can mention the activities, correct. They are eating. Uh, what else are they doing? An example could be uh, when you go to rest a restaurant, when you okay. eat in a restaurant. Just let me type it. Let me type it so we can okay. see your example. Uh, okay, I'm kind of ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. When you eat in a restaurant. When you eat in a restaurant. You're supposed to eat with a, with forks. With forks. You're supposed to eat with a fork. Ah, okay. You okay. are, yes. You are supposed ah, to. Ah, okay. Really, really, very good. Because I didn't hear the verb to be. That's why I typed you supposed to because that was what I heard, as was lo que oí. But remember, according to this, -da 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 -da, you have to use the verb to be. According with the subject, remember, I am, you are, he is, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Correct. You? Are supposed, are supposed to eat to eat with, with fork. With a fork. Or to use. To, to use. use. Yeah. Another that's another option. Okay. Uh maybe David or Shomara or Damaris. Maybe you have a different sentence with the same. When, thing. when you eat in a restaurant. Uh, okay. When you eat in a restaurant. It's the custom to let a tip. Ah, it's the custom to? The custom to let a tip. To let a tip. Uh, let. What, what does it mean, let, in the sentence, Xiomara? The heart. <laughs> ah, okay. To let. But let is, let me give you an example. Let me give you. Uh, Déjeme o permítame. Uh -huh. So let, mm, no. But now it's an obligation. Ah, uh, okay. To leave, the heart. Mm, to leave? No, give. Ah, uh, to give. Ah, uh, give. This one better. This verb is better. When you eat, when you eat, in a restaurant, it's the custom to give a tip. Yeah, it's correct. It's correct, depending on the service, right? But if you receive a bad service in the restaurant, mm, I don't think that you no. would give a tip, depending on the service. Okay, another option for this picture? Last one, the last one. When you when you have a lunch with your partner. Ah, okay. When you have when you have lunch. Or when you have a lunch, yes. When you have a lunch with your partner. With your partner. Okay. Or wife? Partner or wife? Which one is better? Wife. Partner. Okay, it can be a friend. All right, partner. You are supposed. You are supposed. To talk a lot of things. To talk a lot, but you are eating. You couldn't be talking and eating at the same time. To... to... To eat some well. Uh, to eat? 
Some well. To eat Some... well. Can you repeat it one more time? Well, to eat better. To eat better. To eat better. Comer mejor. Maybe. Mm. To eat. To eat. Uh, to eat slowly. To eat healthily. To eat healthy. Or healthy. Uh -huh. To eat healthy. Not only hamburgers, hot dogs, and pizza. Okay, pretty good. teacher. When uh -huh. you have a lunch with your partner, you are supposed to pay dinner. <laughs> ah, you are supposed to, to pay the dinner, correct. Ah, okay, that is one, another option, yes. When you invite, when you invite someone to eat, it's you are supposed or is the custom to pay the bill, correct. That's it. Okay, what about this picture? Different action. She's driving. Ah, okay. And there is a woman driving. When uh, you are driving. Okay. When? When you are driving, you are supposed. When you are driving, you are supposed are to post. In there, it can be. Uh, which one? In the area form. It mm. can be. The sentence no. Because mm. we are when you are driving, you are supposed not, uh, not see your phone. Ah, okay. Yes, it can be possible in negative. But remember that for these type of sentences, you have to use. When you are driving, you are supposed. You are supposed you are to use supposed the same bell. Not, uh -huh, the not. You are not. not supposed. You are supposed not. Uh -huh. the, not the, the, the infinity. The... Not, not use infinity. the cell phone. Not to check your cell phone. cell phone, correct. Yes, this is the order, guys. When you are driving, you are supposed not to check your cell phone. That's correct. Okay, pretty good. Okay, nice. Another uh, example with the same picture. You when you are driving, you are the belt. When you're driving, yes. Uh, okay, Carla, you do the next one. No problem. And uh, David, can you complete it? Yes. When you are driving, you are supposed to use the seat belt. Ah, very important when you drive, of course. Uh, you are supposed to use the the seat belt. That's right. To use the seat belt. Okay. Seat Is belt. Correct. Ah, what's the grammar? Can you correct it? Without a. Like that, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. For a moment, I forgot the grammar. Okay. That usually happens sometimes. Let's see the chat. Uh, okay, only listening, no problem, Daniel, no problem, especially if you are driving. Okay, uh, let's see, Carla, the next, the next sentence, but with this, with this picture, Carla. Remember, you can use suppose yeah, to or the custom When you to. cross the street. You when you cross the street, you are supposed to look at the both sides. You are before. supposed uh -huh, to see 
de el semáforo. Both sides before. Ah, ok. To see both sides. Both sides. Ok. Only, only until there is, is, is fine. No problem. Ok, correct. The sentence is, is correct. Um, but in this case, remember, you can use the sentences. No problem. When you cross the street, when you are driving, when you use, etc., etc. But remember that we are using nouns. Nouns. So in this case, you can say, when you help, oops, when you help, when you help someone to cross the street, you are supposed to see both sides. Okay. That's another option. When you help someone to cross the street. Okay. Another another sentence, guys, with, with the same picture. You can have several options. When you when you help when, your when, uh -huh, when you when you help when you help your grandmother mm -hmm. to cross the street you okay. are supposed to hold her hand. You are supposed, supposed you are supposed. supposed to hold her hand. Ah, okay. You are supposed to take her hand. Ah, that's true. Okay, that's true. Especially if you help someone crossing the street yes if you see in the picture that is what the girl is doing with the elder person yes it's true okay what about this uh this this guy that is crying he's crying we don't know why but he is crying uh-huh example when you when you see someone crying. When you see someone uh -huh. crying. Yes. Uh, it's the custom. It's the custom. To give a Oh. Okay, yeah, good option. It's a custom to give a hug. Okay, pretty good. That's it. Nelly, another example uh, with, uh, with this picture. Nelly, Nelly left. Uh, yes. no, Nelly is there. Yes. Uh, with the uh, okay, mm -hmm. with this one. When you see someone crying, or when you are crying. <laughs> okay, you can use it. No problem. When you are crying. When you are crying. Uh. <laughs> mm hmm. Compliment, compliment. Guys, can you give options to complete the sentence? Nelly's sentence. She needs uh, some help. I am. Mr. Custom, see you in the mirror. Ah, no, that is not, that is not the custom. <laughs> when you are crying. Um, it's custom to like to speak with someone that you confidence ah okay uh, i get you when you're crying it's 
Okay, this is not for everyone. This is when you are for crying. Something. You are supposed to talk with someone. Okay, that's another option. Yes, it's the custom. Is the custom mm -hmm. to find? Okay, the first one to find someone to talk to, right? That is what you meant. Eso quería decir, right? And in your center. Okay, and the other one, y la otra, when you are crying. When you are you, crying, you are supposed to talk with someone about your problems. Correct. You are supposed to talk to someone about it. Or about the situation, about your problems, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, that's right. Okay, your sentences are are correct. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Nice. Okay. Um now we are going to practice uh using or making sentences, noun phrases, but with the word with the word if. If with if, not with when, with if. What is the order? The order is plus if plus if plus plus subject uh -huh. plus verb to be plus supposed to plus verb plus complement plus complement. Okay, in this one is a pretty similar, but with the change that not using when you are going to use if. Yes. Let's see a couple of examples. Example number one. If you want to invite someone, you are supposed to take the person with you. Yes, if you invite someone to the cinema to have a, to have a lunch, etc. You are supposed to take that person That's with cool. you. If you promise especially hey i'm i promise that the next time i will invite you to a lunch in that case next if you take a nap it is the usual to program the alarm ah uh, okay if you take if you take a nap it's contraction it's, it's the usual to program the al alarm. The alarm. Ah, okay. If not, if you don't program it, you would be sleeping, sleeping, and sleeping many hours in this example. Okay. Or remember, you can use supposed to. Next, number two. Is the custom to? Is the custom to, or in third place, you can use the usual. It's the usual too. As low usual. Okay. Next examples. Hector. Um. Example with this one, with this sentence. If, if you are alone. Uh huh. If you, huh? you are alone, you're supposed to play alone. <laughs> okay, alone. Mm, okay, pretty similar. If you are alone, you're supposed to, to play. You said to play, right? To play alone. Correct or incorrect? If you are, if you are sad. Uh, the, there is miss a bird to be, I think. You yeah, are correct. supposed to play alone. Yeah, don't forget the bird to be, guys. Don't forget it. <laughs> you are supposed to play alone. Okay, Sumana, 
Can you repeat your example? If you are sad. If you are sad. You are supposed. You are supposed to take a ball and play. To take. A ball and play. A ball and play. For some people, that doesn't work. Some people do different things, but this is one example. For, yeah. for kids. Ah, in the case of kids. Ah, yeah. Is in that case is better. Okay, now guys make a similar sentence, but you see it's the usual. Hmm? If okay. you if you if you are wait someone if you are wait someone wait waiting waiting ah okay if you are waiting someone is the usual too is the usual to take a uh, a rest uh okay to take a rest the sentence is fine but according with the picture it doesn't match try try something else different different uh, context if you are waiting someone uh -huh, is the usual to do something not is to get bored uh huh. Is the usual to do something, something else, not to get bored? For example. Okay, pretty good. What about this picture, guys? Check. He's sick. Correct. He is sick. If you are sick, uh -huh. you are supposed to take a pill. Okay. So you are sick. Mm -hmm. If you are sick, repeat it, repeat it, please continue. You are supposed to, to take a pill. You are supposed to take, to take or you a are pill. supposed to visit the doctor. Or visit the doctor. That's another option. Yes. Visit the doctor. Examples, more examples. Compliments. By about medicine. This. A medicine. Ah, uh, to take. If you are sick, you are supposed to rest. A lot. Correct. That's true. If you are sick, you are supposed to, to rest on the bed, for example, as well. Okay, pretty good. Uh huh. What about if, if you sneeze? Can you complete the sentence if you, if you, choo. if you sneeze, you are supposed to uh, put your hands on uh, your mouth. Okay, but remember, it's supposed you are supposed to is is pretty easy. Try making the sentence with the custom too. The verb is missed uh, in that. It's the custom to protect your face. Ah, to cover, cover, cover. Your face. If you if you sneeze, correct. You are supposed. Se supone que debe cubrirse, right? You are supposed to cover your your face. That's right. Okay, pretty good, guys. Pretty good. Okay, but remember, it's the custom. Can you repeat the sentence with the custom? Someone said it? No? Okay, no problem. Uh -huh. It's the custom to cover your face. Ah, okay. It's custom. The custom. Correct. Cover your nose or your face. 
your face or the nose, your nose as well. No problem. Okay, pretty good. Nice, nice. Let's see. Noun phrases with if. Okay, those are the examples. What about this, uh, this other picture? Check. What's going on in this one? Swimming. 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 Uh, swimming. Uh, like a sport, yes. Swimming. If you are swim if you are swimming, uh huh, you are supposed to take a long breath. If you are swimming, you are supposed to take a uh, a long breath before uh -huh. you introduce your face in the water. <laughs> Ah, okay, long, long context. Yes, long complement, but no problem. That is better. Okay. Uh, to take uh, a deep, deep breath. Continue Come with the sentence, please. If you are swimming, is the cause is the is usual. I know, but this one complete because the con the complement was kind of long. Oh, you are you are if you are swimming, you are supposed to take a deep breath uh, before you introduce your face into the water. Before you introduce pretty long but correct, introduce your face into the water. Okay, pretty long sentence, but it's correct. Okay. Hector, yes, can you repeat yours? If you are swimming, is the costume after that take a towel for the car? Is, it, is the costume to take a towel to go out, oh. right? To go out. To what? Go out of the of the swimming, swimming of the pool. swimming pool correct yeah it is it is like a costume that is something that you should do when you go out from or of the swimming pool okay correct another example if you uh -huh. swim if you swim, swim. It is the custom to use. To use. It is the custom to use a swimming cap on your head. Ah, correct. A swimming cap on your on your head. Yes, because if you check, the person is using uh, the swimming cap. Okay, pretty good. Let's see, uh, what about this, this picture? Reading. Reading. Reading, that is the activity that you see in the picture, yes. But as a sentence, as a sentence, please. If you want to learn more, you are supposed to read more. If you want to learn more, correct, you are supposed to read more. To read more. Uh huh. Okay, that's true. With the, with the, with the next word, with the custom. All right, guys, another another sentence, another option with with the costume. If you read a book. If you read a book. You are supposed to take care of it. Yeah, you are supposed to take care of it. Okay. Or if you, when you read a book, if you read a book, 
Uh, it's the custom to finish the reading, to finish the book, right? That or is if you or, or if you want to use the to carry it, you can you you can see if you lend a book, you are supposed to take care of it. Ah, that's another option, correct. If you if you give a book or if you lend a book, it's supposed you are supposed you are supposed to take care of that book because it's not yours, correct. Or if you if you lend uh, if you lend a book to someone, it's the custom to take care of it. Yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. Another option maybe if you grandmother read a Bible. Okay, let's write it. Let's type it. If your mother reads. If your grandmother. <laughs> Ah, okay, grandmother. If your grandmother with a Bible reads, remember to pronounce the letter S because we have third person, grandmother. Continue. With, with a Bible. A Bible is usual. It's usual or the usual? Usual. Ah, -da -da, let's check. It's, it's the is the. the. Yes. It's the usual. Mm -hmm. She take her classes. Ah, to wear glasses or use because you are using the object to read, correct. Ah, okay, this is another example. If your grandmother reads a Bible, it's the usual to use glasses. Okay, pretty good. That's fine. Okay, excellent, guys. Question, do you do you get the difference between using when and using if? Yes? Get the difference? Yes. Okay, pretty good. If you have doubts, the direction is this. You can see it, you can review it. Whenever you have doubts about using these type of sentences. Okay, pretty good. Nice, nice. Guys, uh, this was the last topic. No more for today. Remember that you have to complete section five. Did you complete it already, guys? Yes. You did? Yes. Okay, excellent. You... I already finished. Okay, you are pretty good in that. What about the final exam? Have you done it yet? Teacher, I can problem in I may many many sentences the the test. Teacher. Uh, but in the section five or the final exam, Hector? Final exam, teacher. Ah, the final exam. Okay, I see. Uh, please send a screenshot to the WhatsApp group so we can see what the problem is with the, with the sentence and I can help you out with, uh, with indications. Okay, but in the WhatsApp group, in the WhatsApp group, all right? Okay, guys, uh, thank you for joining. Uh, I appreciate your participation in every class. Tomorrow is the final class. We have a final activity. Okay, it's been a pleasure and see you tomorrow. I hope you can join for the final class of the course.
Thank you. Thank you so much for joining and have a great night. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Not a problem. Sure. My pleasure, guys. Thank you for being in the class. Take care. Good day tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. See you, Daniel. Good job. Hope to see you tomorrow, final class. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, time tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Be careful. Thank you. Thank you.